Here we are, right at the end of January the 31st to be precise, and what a way to kick off the year. As promised, the long-awaited Prusa Core 1 has finally arrived, and I couldn't be more excited to dive into this one. This printer has been creating quite a buzz in the 3D printing world, and today we're going to see if it lives up to all the hype. With time being short, I won't waste a moment, and I'll be unboxing this sleek edition, firing it up and printing as much as I possibly can. From the moment the Core 1 was announced, Prusa's bold claims of precision, speed and reliability have set expectations sky high. So, my mission today is simple, to put those promises to the test and show you exactly why this machine could be the new standard for 3D printing enthusiasts everywhere. As I said, time is short and I've only got four days to get this produced, so I'm going to guide you through the unboxing process and initial setup, from first prints to overall performance, and if that goes well, by the end of the video you will have a solid understanding of what makes the Core 1 such a standout product. So stick around, this is going to be an exciting journey, let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. So I've got all my Prusa merch on and now it's time to get this straight out of the box. That time I bought the bluntest knife. Okay, here we go. Ooh, first things out of the box are of course the Haribo. Thank you guys. We have a beautiful manual, look at this. This is our review guide, exciting, lovely. Full color, wonderful, wonderful. We'll have to take a look at that. We've got a UK power supply, thank goodness. And also another build plate. We have a receipt. Now just for clarity, Prusa has sent me this machine free of charge for me to use and to review. Um, there is a, an affiliate link down below if you choose to use that. I don't know if there's any special discounts or anything, but if there is, make sure you check out the description below and um, you know we can see what we can offer you in regards to that. My views as always are my own, and if the printer stinks, which I'm sure it won't, then obviously I'll tell you that in good time. We have a flash drive here, normal thing. We have some Prusament in the top, and they have sent me so much filament, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. We've got some black Galaxy Black PLA here. Beauty, let's pop that down. Ooh, lots of packaging here. Okay, there we go, happy printing. Oh man, this looks cool. As I said earlier on, we do now have this camera. Now this wasn't something that we saw at Formnext, but it was something that I was like, yeah, yeah, you know what? This looks really cool, but camera, that's gonna make a difference. So now that they've got that, and hopefully if it works the way nature intended, we should be into a good space. So in here we have the, all the usual refinements for Prusa. We've got a bunch of tools, we've got some snips, we've got a screwdriver, and I'm assuming this is going to be the LCD, which is gonna pop on just down here. Move him out of the way. Lovely, look at that, screws are already pre-installed. Oh, okay, that's cool, okay. So we don't need to do anything, we just need to plug it in and just slot it into place. The unboxing experience was refreshingly straightforward. It's as simple as pulling the printer out of the box, attaching the display and, well, plugging it in. Prusa has clearly focused on simplicity here, making it as hassle-free as it possibly could be. It's just a few cardboard supports that hold everything in place, which is a nice touch compared to the non-recyclable materials that I often encountered during unboxings. It's the small details like this that really show consideration for both the user and the environment. Another welcome feature is that there are no screws securing the bed during shipping. It's a truly plug and play setup. And that's it. No further things to really do. All we need to do is mount the camera at the top, the screen on the front, and put the build plate in, filament on the side, and well, we're good to go. Need high quality PCBs, 3D printing, or CNC machining? Well, PCB Way. Dot com is your core solution for precision and reliability. Fast, affordable, and trusted by makers worldwide. Because every one of your projects deserves the best. And if you have a special project in mind that needs a special kind of make, well, they've got you covered. Visit PCBWay.com today. Thank you once again to PCBWay for sponsoring the channel. Quite literally one of the easiest unboxings that I think I've ever done. Anyway, now that the printer is set up and working, let's dive into the details. Prusa is renowned for their exceptional quality and stellar customer service, and products that are built to last. In the recent years, however, the Core XY market has seen significant innovation, focusing on speed without compromising on print quality. This isn't Prusa's first venture into Core XY. After all, they've already released the XL and the AFS system. However, neither of those products directly compares to the Core 1, particularly in terms of affordability. This model comes pre-built at the price of £1,138.80, including VAT, making this more accessible than other previous iterations. 
The name of the game here is speed and quality. Impressively, the Core XY is about 15 to 20 percent faster than last year's MK4S release. Prusa blended their significant quality with some clever design choices. You won't find any glass panels or glass doors here. In fact, these have been replaced by durable perspex. The flip hinges offer two stopping points at 90 and 180 degrees. And you can even flip the door to open on the left hand side if you prefer. One intriguing feature is the magnetic hinge on the screen. At first I wasn't sure what to make of it, but after some testing it became clear that the design prevents the screen from snapping off when you tilt the printer, which is a smart touch. This printer also includes Prusa's Nextruder, which already was a standout feature on the MK4S. Its ability to handle extreme overhangs with, without support drastically reduces filament waste, making it both cost-effective and eco-friendly. The Core 1 strikes this great balance between functionality and artistic flair. The side spool mount and the storage solutions are particularly noteworthy, with users such as Prusa Guy already designing clever upgrades and accessories over on printables. As you might expect, the print quality is absolutely divine. It goes without saying. I've tested this across a range of filaments, not just Prusamon, and the results have been consistently impressive. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with Prusa Slicer, well, it's a cut above the rest. However, and I'll openly admit, when using Prusa printers, typically I rely on USB sticks for transferring print files. That being said, with my up and coming studio reorganization, I may need remote access for my Prusa printers. And that's where Prusa Connect comes in. At time of release, the Core 1 did not come with a built-in camera. And if there was, it was called a buddy option. Now, I hadn't looked closely enough at that particular point in time. However, included with my Core 1 package was a Wi-Fi camera. This handy device attaches magnetically to the upper left-hand side of the printer. And, well, setup is simple. You just plug it in using the provided USB-C cable, and that's for power, and use the Prusa app to handle the rest. Resetting the camera and scanning the QR code is really all it takes. Onboard monitoring is an essential requirement for my workflow, making this a fantastic addition. But just to point out, the camera is an optional extra. Now back to Prusa Connect. Now slicing the file is in line with Slice Free R, or as I more commonly use, Orca Slicer. And navigating the interface is very intuitive. Clicking the Platter tab gives you access to print file calibration, print settings, including layer height, infill type, and speed, filament selection, Choose the pre-configured filaments or create your own. Printer profiles, which is select the appropriate printer. In this case, the Prusa Core 1. And it also has printables integration, allowing you to slice your print files with a single click. And finally, Prusa Connect itself, which is a true one-stop shop for managing your 3D printing workflow. It lets you queue jobs and print jobs, monitor the camera, start, stop, and pause prints, and adjust temperature settings, and, well, much, much more. Honestly, after using it for this video, I don't know why I'm not using it all the time anyway. Seems crazy, right? It's just there, and it's free. Now, if you didn't see my previous coverage of the Core 1 video that I shot at Formnext, well, here's a sneak peek at that. And in that video, you'll find a decent overview of it all, rather than me going over old grouting this video. And let's be honest, if you're looking at the Core 1, you're going to be wanting to understand the following. One, what's the price? Well, at 2 minutes 15, I did already tell you that. Now, the price, again, is £1,138.80 with the VAT, and the kit version is £874.80 with the VAT as well. And again, do you want to build this yourself or do you want the very kind people at Prusa headquarters to be building it for you? Well, it's going to be down to user preference and whether or not you're actually good at building printers. And of course, if you are good at building printers, let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, the next thing's going to be number two, print size. Yep, cover that already as well. 250 by 220 by 270. And of course, it's bigger than the MK4 and the MK4S and the Mark III. Not quite as big as the XL, of course, but um, Prusa think that that is the perfect build size for you guys. If you disagree with that, again, leave a comment down below. Number three, or what probably should have been number one, is print quality. And as you can see here, it's top notch throughout the entire range. Might not take a few moments here to listen to some music while I show you some prints.
Number four, connections options. Are you going to connect via the Ethernet or are you going to connect via the Wi-Fi? Or like me previously, are you just going to plug in that USB stick? The NFC receiver also cuts down the fact that you've got to put in your password information, which is normally notoriously annoying if you're doing that into a keypad. But I'm assured that your security here is paramount. And again, it's a hot topic right now. How companies handle your data and personal information is certainly of vital importance. And really, it's time for things to change. Number five, and certainly what I would be considering to be quite an important topic for me and the stuff that I print right now is temperatures. Because if your hot end is not able to reach the range required for your filament type or chamber heat for that matter on maintaining temperature, you're going to be in for a bad start. Now, the maximum nozzle temperature on this is 290 degrees with the bed coming in at 120 with the max chamber temperature is 55. And that's regulated from the bed and I'm guessing the hot end and it's regulated inside of the chamber. So for clarity, it's not a heated chamber, it's a passive heated chamber. Hope that makes sense. And while I'd personally like to have seen the hot end pushing the higher temperatures, certainly up into the stratosphere, well, you never know, because somebody somewhere is probably already cooking that up for a bolt-on mod to make that happen. And honestly, I believe there is scope for this. Speaking of mods, there are plenty, and I'll be diving into them like a caffeinated fueled gremlin. In fact, my grand plan for 2025 is to show you more of this and other Prusa printers, because let's face it, the channel is slowly morphing into an infinite loop of unboxing and review videos. It's like watching a conveyor belt of content designed to hypnotize rather than inspire so let's change that less repetition and more actual making that is the vision speaking of upgrades including multicolor from prusa mmu a new air extraction system which is coming soon apparently because oxygen management is now part of the hobby and of course the gpio hacker board which i do own and in classic fashion i've not had time to actually mess with it yet so it sits here silently judging me so the bottom line here, of course, is there's going to be more mods to this particular printer on the channel. And I've already printed out the feet for whatever reason we're going to need those feet for. But again, that's going to be the direction moving forward. And if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also chuck us a little like. Anyway, these are my final thoughts. When I visited the Prusa factory last year, I remember saying that I thought it was odd that they hadn't already done a Core XY machine. After all, they already had several systems in place. And it turns out, well, it was just around the corner, quietly being developed and already in production for manufacturing. And honestly, it's refreshing to see a company that isn't plagued by delays, overpromises, and an outright fantasy marketing especially in this industry. The bottom line is, well, I like Prusa, not just as a company, but as a good group of people, the engineers, the events team, and all the people that I've worked with on this channel with my projects. The core one fills a gap in Prusa's arsenal, and Prusa itself remains a company like no other. Grassroots, often copied, and the standard that most manufacturers aspire to, but rarely ever reach. They're not mindlessly churning out the next-gen printers every single month with slightly different colors and the same old formula. The industry is shifting and I hope for the better. But one thing is for certain, the Core 1 is going to be a massive success. I'm looking forward to bringing you more inspired content with it. Prusa Core 1 for the win. Excellent product. Really happy with the way the prints have turned out so far. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I also want to thank the sponsors today, which is PCBWay.com and Polymaker, because they're the ones that are keeping the momentum going behind the scenes. Now, if you are tempted to grab one of these core ones, consider using the affiliate links down below. It helps the channel. And either way, let me know in the comments if this print is for you or if you're going to give it a pass. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the Prusa Core 1 in the comments section down below. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.